Okay guys, today we're going to be doing some tips on how to hack on watchdogs. Now if you look to this guy to my left, I've just passed him, he's there in a limousine. He knows somebody's going to be coming for him, but he thinks I'll just wait there for some reason. And I know, for a fact, there's a ramp just there. Can you guess what I'm going to do, folks? It's called a plan of action. I hack him, and then I give myself a nice little boost. And then as fast as we can, put the foot down. Whee! Nobody else drives like that on watchdogs. Okay, now some of these train stations you can climb up, but you've got to have the right size vehicle, and that's too small a vehicle, and I haven't got time all to run around all day waiting to get a bigger vehicle. Because by the time you do that sometimes, that's when they find you. Okay. Next thing you want to do is familiarise yourself with the train station or wherever you're hiding and basically today we're gonna go over this little ledge jump across jump up here and then we're gonna find a nice little vantage spot where we can look around us and we know if somebody's coming for us so they're not gonna find us too easy okay now also here's another tip for you for when you're online hacking some people being chased by the police, which is brilliant. That's a great distraction. This guy, he's running scared. I can't get, I can't quite see him though. He's here somewhere. So you gotta be very, very cheap with these things. So he's looking in whatever directions, but he's not gonna know I'm there, and he's been hacked. Job done. He's scared of the police. He's trying to hide away from all the police, and it's not helping him. So, you know, well, if he's scared of the police, I'll make the most of it. And I'm going to go with the police. Turn the car off. Let the police start shooting at him. Oh. He's going to have to have some guts to come and get me now because he's being hacked. So he wants me to stop him from being hacked at him. Do note, this doesn't always work. If you sit in the car and he gets killed, they will see you as the hacker and start shooting you. So be careful. Okay, this is what I call a drive-by. You can see him there, you've got to get just close enough so you can hack him. Just slightly out of range, just in time. Hacking done. Not a problem. Then you want to go find yourself somewhere really good to hide. So, you know, I know here there's a car park. Now this is a brilliant tip for anyone with some decent hacking skills and if you don't well it's a good time to learn now you see this little stairway I want to go up there so I'm going to go in through the entrance and start the initiate hack and what you want to do is open all the doors you can on your way up so every time he comes up a new level he's going to think oh he's in there that's where he must be not the case but that will give you a couple of seconds of time and a couple of seconds might be that 1% you need to get your hack. Now, here's a brilliant one. See that little road there? Climb up there and you can't get up to the top there. But if you go to the right hand side, the ledge is just low enough for you to climb up. You can stand on the glass roof and look around and then you can see if he's gonna come get you. Okay, now this guy is a bit tricky. He's a very tricky kind of guy. Another tip for you guys. You can't always quite see them. And he's getting a bit close. But then I see there's a camera. So, I let the camera do the work. Hack done. And then all I need to do is go find my vehicle. And then we need to go for another little ride to find somewhere to hide. Whee! Yeah, boy! Faster, faster. Woo! <laughs> Oh yeah. Okay, now here's another good place to hack. I can't always remember where it is, but you climb upside here. And then you want to go as high as you can. He's going to have to be very clever to work out you're there. And by the time he gets to you, the circle's going to move. So 
he won't even know where the up bit is. So he won't know he can get up on that building. I didn't even know I could get up on the building until I made this video. It's a new one for me too. There are so many spots that are hidden all over the place. And if you just look, you can climb up so high in so many different places. And they're really going to have so much trouble trying to find you. Now up here, who's going to be able to see you from the ground? And it's great because I can see where it's going to come up. So I can run around the corner if I need to. Unfortunately there's no cameras up here because I'm up so damn high. Okay, now sometimes you get lost in the wilderness and you need somewhere to hide. So sometimes a tree or a bush will do very, very well. Today this tree is going to have to be my saviour because I'm going through the hack and I'm really a bit stuck. There's not many places to hide properly. So, you know, just come out, got to make do and do your best sometimes. But luckily there's two corners of concrete. It's going to be hard for him to notice I'm there. Fortunately, I can see some cameras so I can have a little look round, see if it gets a bit too close. You know, maybe if I need to, maybe I need to reevaluate and find somewhere. And see, he just walks straight past me. He don't know where I am. He wants to use this camera, but he can't because I'm using it. Okay, now here's a very important thing to do, especially if you're in Pawnee. You want to find a nice big bushy bush and hide in the middle of it. If he can't, if people can't see you hiding in a bush, it's going to be hard for them to know you're there. It's not always 100%, but it's a pretty damn good place to hide. You only get, if it's only if you get the advanced players that start chucking rocket launchers and actually search the bushes. Put a little bit of extra up for him. Is he coming for me? We'll see. Okay, try and hide your vehicle somewhere out of the way if you can. This is also near Pawnee. And basically at the back you've got some, a big uh, bin thing. And um, just climb over a couple of poles. At the ledge. And then you're sorted. You can have a good look round. And you know, what else do you need to do? If he comes over, you can still drop down, make a run for it, come back up. He won't know. If he's checked you there before, he's probably not going to check you again. He's probably going to think, oh, there's no one on the roof. You don't know to get on the roof. So why would he check? Okay, guys, I hope these hacking tips have been useful for you. Please do use them. Free of charge. Not going to charge you a penny. Don't forget to like my videos and subscribe for more of the latest Watch Dogs with me, Salsa Bomb.